This next video is a tutorial on how to upload your videos to YouTube. On our previous tutorial, you showed how to create a Gmail account, create a YouTube account, and create your channel. So now we've got to upload. So go back to YouTube. You can either type it into Google or click up here and type in youtube.com. So once YouTube loads, you should already be still logged in from your previous account, so you can see test line dance one at Gmail account. So again, I've clicked up here, and I'm going to click on your channel. So here's my channel now. There's no content in there at all because we've just created it. So now we want to upload a video. There's two ways really to upload your video. So you can click on upload video. So we can select a file by clicking there and checking whereabouts it is. Or we can open a folder on our desktop to the folder and just left clicking, holding the left mouse button down and dragging it across. So I'm gonna select one we've done recently and just left hold and just drop it into place. If I click back on the page now, you can see it's uploading. So that video is currently uploading. So we want to give it a title. So for the purpose of this tutorial, test video one. And then you want to tell your viewers about the video as much as possible. So if this is a class video, for example, class video from 27th March 2020, beginners class covering toe to toe, The choreographer name, the music that you're going to use, and the artist that you're going to use. Please know if you are using music from, from the ELD library, please be sure to put in the artist's name as well so that they can get some credit back for it. So the next one will be K is for kicks. The next one is Rocket to the Sun. This is the information that will show underneath the video once people have got it on their page. So you can choose a thumbnail. So you can see, for example, this is my thumbnail that I've chosen. Playlists, you can create playlists if you want to. Okay, It's mainly for people who won't have the link to find your content. So you can create a playlist if you want. So these are, this is a class and visibility is public. So we want to now create that. So we click create. So that playlist is now created. So we want a ticket to be in there and click done. Is your video made for kids? Please note this is not if it's suitable for kids or it's, it's whether it's made for kids. For the most of you, this won't be the case. So no, it's not made for kids. Should it be set to made for kids and there's any questionable words in any of the songs or anything like that, then your video may get taken down. So we can do more options, paid promotion, tags and subtitles. So we can add subtitles if you want to. Um, unlikely that your video contains paid promotions. Um, you can add tags. This, <laughs> this not the normal tags. So tags are, um, for example, toe to toe, line dancing, um, Friday class, beginners. At the end of each line, each word I'm just pressing enter which turns into tags you can also enter a comma after each tag your video language whichever language you're going to use it in so English we're going to use this for so English United Kingdom there's no caption certification in here it's unlikely that you will have recording date if you want to is the 27th the video location I believe this was at the Wessex Hotel in street don't need to enter that if you don't want to people and blog so you can change it to whatever category you want so for example um, I will leave it as people and blogs for now you can allow comments or you can disable comments for this I'm going to allow all comments sort by top show how many viewers dislike this video so this is a little up up thumbs and down thumbs that you see underneath the video so you can turn those off like that so click next 
So you can add an end screen or you can add cards for, uh, related to the video. I would recommend that you leave these alone uh, for now if you want to add anything extras into your video so you add them at the video editing stage. Then we click next. So key parts, this is your video link. You're going to need that. So left button, left button hold down, drag it across and copy. You will need that to promote this in your groups, in your emails. You've got three options here. So public, anybody can search YouTube, find it in YouTube, no problem at all. Unlisted is that only people with the link that you give them can see the video. Or private, only you and people that you choose, so you'll need to allow them to view it on YouTube. It's not an ideal situation. If you don't want it public, I would recommend it set to unlisted. For this, we're going to make it public. We will cover schedule later on in this video. So before we publish, make sure, do children appear in this video? If you do have videos where children appear in it, be aware that YouTube may remove your video if the faces aren't blurred. So we click publish. It takes a few moments to go through. Depending on how long your video is and how big your video file is, it could take quite a while for the video to process. So now we can see we've got test video up. We can share it immediately to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, and all sorts of different places there. If you post it to a closed group, I recommend that you don't share it here and you just keep a copy of this link. So we click close. Okay, so our first video is up. It is public. There's, it's So the video is already found to contain copyright material okay because of the music that's on there it can it's not an issue it's not going to get taken down all it means is that you can't be monetized you can't place adverts at the beginning and the end of it from youtube itself it was published on the 27th of march there's no views there's no comments there's no likes or dislikes so if i open a new tab on my browser by clicking uh, the plus button at the right at the top and then paste in that url or address that i copied it'll load the video eventually so there we can see the videos there if I scroll down if I click show more you can show the class video from 27th of March beginners class coming toe to toe, toe to toe case for kicks rocket to the Sun people can make comments people can upvote it downvote it your first video is now published that URL that domain name that address that we had here is now available for you to post out to whichever way you want so now we want to look at how to schedule videos if you want if you've got a video created that you on a monday that you want to automatically do tuesday we can do that so we're going to click on create at the top right hand corner here create and we're going to upload another video so again you can either select file this way choose where your files are and double click it or you can drag and drop it like we did last time so here's the video again so this is completely different video so this is test video 2 this is a test video content not required again it's just text I'm putting in there to allow myself to fill it in you can see that it's still uploading the video because it's a lot longer video while we're doing that we're going to add it to the playlist of class and done and then again go down to the more options and we can add tags so line dance comma um, Monday class comma um, line dance wheelchair okay for example those are examples of ones you want to put in there video language you can leave it as left on your own some of the people and blogs allow all comments allow upload okay so we're good there so next we don't need to add an end screen or any caps next right so this we're going to make it so we can schedule it we don't want this to be published until the following tuesday so today when i'm making this it's the 27th so we want to set it to the following tuesday which is the 31st and then we want it to be published at 10 a.m so we scroll down to 10 a.m. 
So until then, it'll be private, no one will be able to see it. Again, you've got your URL there. So we can click schedule. So now your video has been scheduled to be set to public on the 31st of March, 2020 at 10 a.m. So no one will be able to see that until then. So we can click close. And then there's our test video too. You can see that it's scheduled. You can see that it's scheduled to go on the 31st. You can change by clicking on the little arrow next to scheduled to change the date and the time and the time zone. Okay, just click away from it, it's done. You now have two videos uploaded to your account.